guys who throw stuff, you were actually quite mellowed right now, but you weren't just 10 minutes ago on stage. Frantic, I think, is the word I would use to describe your frontman style. How did that come about? Um, I honestly think it came about from feeling too awkward to uh, really just sort of stand there, and by being uh, outlandish and uh, all over the place, it kind of makes it less awkward. And I think um, that has just grown over the last seven years, and thus I now just throw myself around. And I, it's, I don't feel as I don't struggle with it as much as I maybe used to. I don't need as much Dutch courage, if, if you if you uh, if you will. You stand, yes, but you do have your very lovely there is still good Dutch stuff. Involved. Just less Dutch courage. Less Dutch courage. Yeah. Not necessary Dutch courage. Just sort of like enhancing Dutch courage. Kent courage. He's from Kent. Yes, yes. You need the Kent courage. You were just out on tour with Incisions. We were, we were. And how was that? Uh, it was actually great. Uh, we've not toured for a while because Ben lives in Myanmar at the moment and I broke my knee uh, two years ago. So we haven't done anything for ages and uh, Incisions are a band that we uh, really like on record and we just hope that they were good in person. But you can't have it all. You know what? They actually do manage to have it all. I know that you may not say that, but... They are they are great. They are the best band I've ever toured with. Uh, musically, right up my street. They're so fucking good. Um, yeah, all of them. Even Battle. Yeah, well, it looked like you guys had some very interesting moments. Titanic moments, I think, that it was. So, Myanmar. Is that why that's the last gig of the year? Uh, yes. <laughs> I live I live in Myanmar, yeah, in Yangon, in Myanmar. What took you there? Uh, I work for an NGO called Help Age International. We do work with um, older people around the world to uh, improve their health and well-being. And I was based in London, and then they moved me to uh, the office in Yangon, in Myanmar, for one year. So um, I came back for this because Kieran puts on Magic Park Festival and we just thought we'd do a tour around it, and um, here we are. Yeah. How does it feel to be playing a festival that you have such a key part in putting together? Uh, very stressful. <laughs> That's uh, what I was thinking. Very stressful, and you kind of got to just make sure that when you're running between the venues, you've still got your guitar somewhere. Um, but it's wicked, it's nice, because uh, a lot of people that put on gigs and festivals don't have a microphone at some point to thank everyone that comes. So it's just nice to be able to say what everyone's thinking that runs the festival and it's like, everyone here is mint. Thanks so much for coming. It's nice to be able to do that. And you guys really do put on an amazing festival. It has to be, with the people that come, one of the most friendly festivals I've encountered. And the bands. I've encountered bands that, no, I'm, they're not for me. I don't like their style. I've never encountered a Duff band. Every band has been quality. Every year I've been, so kudos to you for that one. Thank you. And the rest of the team. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird one. There's like, it's a strange crowd where everyone, not everyone, but most people drink everything in sight and there's no dickheads. And it's such a nice combination. Like the main uh, manager at the biggest venue this year was like, that we're using for the first time, he was like, everyone's so nice. And I'm like, yeah, punks are nice people. It's great. And it, it's just a really great atmosphere. And I, I do have to wonder, thinking about Myanmar, and you've had this, you've been out singing, and, and all of that for, how long is your tour, a week? One week, yeah. yeah. One whole week. <laughs> One very long week. And then you're going to go back to relative peace and quiet and a totally different culture shock again. Is that something that you're looking forward to, perhaps, or...? Uh, I mean, th 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 there is a punk scene in Yangon, where I live. Uh, it's very in a band now. Yeah, I, I, a band. I, I, yeah, I'm in a band in Yangon. Um, shout out to Straw Dogs. <laughs> I mean, we've had one practice, but... Um, uh, they, That's uh, more than friends I've had this year. That is definitely true. Um, 
Yeah, no, so there's there's still a scene and um, I you know have to lower your bar somewhat because the music's not quite um, maybe as nuanced as, I, as you'd like. Nuanced might be the wrong word. It's but the nicest thing you've ever said about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, obviously, I'm, obviously when I'm away, I miss the shit and that's why I, uh, why I chose the time to come back during this year as the time for MPF. Like, I, uh, I wanted to hang out with my mates that are surrounding us here and to play uh, to play to play these gigs so yeah it's been very good fun well I want to thank you both so much for taking the time to speak with us for coming right off stage and I can't wait till next year when I can see you again finally so are you back in England next year should be yeah should be yeah should be. six years in a row there we go that is some fucking promoter balls there isn't it absolute liberty yeah so yeah Thanks very much. Thank you. Biz. Cheers. Cheers.